It sounds like somebody's breaking into a truck outside, but we're not really sure. So let's just see in case it's something interesting. Hey everybody, what's up? We're back up here on a weekend on a Saturday and today we're working on Stevens International a little bit. We got our little helper here today. You helping? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Steven? Howdy, howdy. So if y'all, let me turn this around so you can see what we're doing. All right, so we've been dealing with the guys over at Summit and uh, buying some stuff through ATEC. These guys have been super helpful. Um, and uh, what we had was, if y'all watched the video on Steven's 1110, um, Y'all remember hearing that thing had a pretty good exhaust leak underneath it and um, I think he's already cut the piece off Yeah, actually check this out. We had like some bean and weenie cans wrapped around this thing and uh, A couple of hose clamps and you can see that the rest of this is pretty rusted out the uh, The other head pipe stuff that's here doesn't look terrible and we're probably gonna reuse a little bit of that but uh, Hey, what series is this Steven a 50? Yep. so he got a single in dual out or uh, dual in single out um, so we can tie those two head pipes together um, and that's a 50 series so we're we're excited to see how that thing sounds international sound pretty dope anyway but that ought to that ought to help a little bit got an x pipe that's going to go in the middle and a couple of 22 5 and 45 degree sweeps so we can make some of the bends around stuff if we need to and uh, we've also got some 90s that are left over here um, and a 45 or two that we can chop up into some pie cuts if we need to you know make radiuses around the axle or the transfer case or cross member or whatever so um yeah steven's got the manifold pulled off of this side because uh we didn't want to go this far without making sure that the exhaust manifolds came off and then we got them planed um didn't break any bolts right no. so that's a plus so uh we should be able to cover a pretty good amount of ground today without having to drill and uh pull bolts out of the cylinder heads anyone who's done that knows how bad that sucks um these actually are in pretty good shape uh, Steven's been over here with the uh, air file hitting him with uh, what is that 60 grit paper 80 grit paper yeah. and what he's doing is is using this piece it's like a big flat straight edge and when you set that up here on the manifold you can run that deal across and get one smooth even plane and that's that's gonna help you make sure that your new gaskets seal up really tight so um, working on getting some of these uh, donuts here the guys at Napa are bringing us some stuff back um, or bringing us some stuff down here. I think one of the two donuts, Steven, you said was good. This one's still good. This one here has been burn a little bit. Burn out. Looks like charcoal almost. Yeah. So we're going to get some new one of those. That, that's right that's where the collector does. goes together. Yeah. There you go. Um, make a nice necklace or like a hoop earring or something maybe. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Oh, dude, that bro lady will love that. Yeah. You want to wear that, William, as an earring? Let's no. see. So anyway, they're bringing us some donuts down here. Steven's gonna plane both these manifolds up and then we're gonna get started on putting the exhaust on and see how cool that sounds. This dude Rod up in Canada, I found him by accident on Facebook um, on one of the pages we follow that's international stuff. And he had one of these grills for a 71. These are called, uh, they're commonly referred to as egg crate because it kinda is just a bunch of square grids and stuff. But this thing was in really, really good condition. Um, it had like one little crack in one of these holes, like right here. One little crack, like right here. And uh, I think in shipping, they actually dropped it and cracked this a little bit on this side. So while Steven's working on the exhaust, I'm gonna pull the grill out of this thing. It's got this aluminum surround that's got a couple of dings in it. I'm gonna see if I can kind of beat on it, dolly it out a little bit, so we can set that new, the egg crate piece I was talking about earlier, that guy in here and get this thing cleaned up pop the emblem off the back side of it and uh, get this piece out and start trying to beat it around and get it squared up. We got Junior over here doing the important work. Show him what you're doing, William. All right, so he's knocking that out of there, making big bucks.
Steven got both manifolds uh, set back on here. This side's got a flash, let me show you. Got some new fasteners in this bad boy. Looking good down here. Got them planed out. Everything is clean. Collectors back together on that side. This side as well. We've got the head pipe pieces assembled on this guy. So Steven's got those planed out. New gaskets, new fasteners. Rocking and rolling on that deal. Let me show y'all where I got with the grill on this thing. So, old grill, junk, new grill, cherry, right? So I've been having to test fit this thing over and over and got it to where we're sitting in here pretty damn square, right? The reveal around that's looking pretty good. I've got a little bit of an air gap on the bottom, but if you can see on the camera, it's got a wrinkle right here and the wrinkles in the hard break of this thing. And there's really not a good way of getting that back. I've already bent the grill up multiple times and had to come back and rework it. We got the big dent that was up here, kind of pushed out a little bit. So it's a whole lot better than, than what we had. And uh, set up in the front of here, it actually looks pretty darn good. Um, but right now, what uh, we're going to have to do is, I was trying to work this dent out in this lower valance panel. You can see that this piece is wrinkled pretty damn good. And again, we're not doing show quality body work, but we're trying to get where at least it looks like the stuff is even. So like you can see that the nostril on this side has a pretty even reveal. This one, it doesn't show as much on the camera, but this has got a pretty decent push in it. So when you look at it, you can kind of see the reveal of that, how it's got a bow to the front side of it. And this one's a little bit more even. So we're gonna push this piece out. And uh, what we need to do is I'm gonna soak the fasteners on the back side of this with some PB blast, cause this stuff hadn't been off since the truck was built. Um, so hit all those things up so that next time we come in we can pull this lower valance piece off push some of this stuff out That way we have as many square pieces as we possibly can to make the grill over here Look a lot better when it's set back in the hole. So um, Yeah, as far as the front end stuff goes, that's where that's at. Steven's got the manifolds on He uh, was temping up his X pipe here And there's a little bit of a difference between where these two inlets line up So we'll probably do a couple of pie cuts or, or scoot this piece back where we can smooth out a you know, a couple of degree radius, uh, maybe just one simple cut or two to step this into this collector, excuse me, step it into the inlet um, where that X pipe lands to that thing um, cleanly. And uh, then we're gonna work on getting some of the other bins that are underneath this thing lined up and get the tailpipe out the back. All right, guys. Well, we had a little incident mm -hmm. and we ran over our camera mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we had some cool footage on the International building the exhaust, the X-Pipe, um, and some of the other stuff, kind of more work on the grill and setting it in there and all that, but that's okay. The grill is set back in there, and it's definitely, instead of just being completely ruined, I think we've got it now where it's like a solid 10-footer. Yeah, I mean, it looks great. We don't have a hole this big in it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Here's the old grill. It's like somebody threw a baseball through the center of it, right? Yeah, gnarly. We did get the manifolds mounted. Steven got them planed out and uh, new gaskets and new fasteners installed, new donuts on the collectors, both sides, all that stuff looking good. It had really bad exhaust leak before. And uh, underneath here, we, uh, we got the uh, two head pipe pieces coming together into the X pipe, into that flow mo and out the back. And uh, it's just kind of cool because we didn't, we don't have a mandrel bender for exhaust, but what we did have was some short radius pieces and um, wanted to show you that you can still build a nice exhaust kit um, on your own. You know, you can, you can get like uh, some, uh, I don't know what that bend is right there, I guess about a 45 and then you've got another one here and a straight section here and it's kind of all pieced together. This is all stuff that we had laying around from building intercooler piping and stuff like that. Bought a couple of hangers from Napa, set them up there with a guillotine clamp, and uh, got clearance to everything, transfer case, drive shaft, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, dude, I, I, I can't wait to uh, show them what it sounds like. This thing sounds like a freaking sewing machine. Yeah. Let's hear it. <clears throat> Probably needs uh, the valve guides. Yeah, it's old. Some valve sim seals. Listen to this thing, huh?
Yeah, dude. Not bad for some old junk, huh? No, I don't care if she smoked. That's what I'm talking about. Listen to this thing. Sewing machine. Alright, guys. So, that basically sums up the, uh, the work on the travel all for right now. We're going to pull this thing out and, uh, Open the door before we choke on carbon monoxide. Yeah, pass out right here live. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Till next time. Later. Later.